Hey everybody, today's video is super exciting. We are doing a nursing school supply haul video. I watched videos like this before I even started on my prerequisite classes and to be sitting here able to film this today right now is just it's insane. I am so excited. So I'm not going to waste any time rambling. I'm going to roll the intro and then we'll go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and get the big stuff out of the way first. First and foremost, my oldest sister was so kind to send me a pair of Bose noise canceling headphones. They're actually downstairs right now, but this is the box. I did not even ask for these. They just um, showed up at my doorstep. I was so excited because I actually wanted something like this, but I had never asked anybody for it because it was one of those things where it's on the more expensive side and I just would rather pay for it myself than ask for it, I guess. But anyway, coincidentally enough, she sent me these and I am so thankful they are awesome and I know they're gonna be really helpful as I start nursing school. The next thing I wanna talk about is a laptop. Now you don't need to buy a brand new laptop for nursing school, however, unfortunately, my laptop that I already had is a Chromebook and my school requires that you either have a Windows or a um, Mac but yeah it's the HP NV360 and it's awesome it's a 15.6 inch laptop screen um, and it can fold in half to become a tablet it has everything that I need and it was significantly well maybe not significantly but it was less than other laptops on the market for that size screen so far it's been awesome it's been working really well so I'm glad to have that I also bought a stethoscope and a blood pressure cuff. So here is the blood pressure cuff. It just looks like this. It has, you know, blood pressure cuff things. And I actually got this in a set with my stethoscope, which I ordered on allheart.com. My stethoscope is a Lippmann Classic 3 and this is what it looks like. I actually got a tag um, separately on Etsy and it just has my name on it obviously and I will um, post a link to her Etsy shop down below. The seller did an awesome, awesome job with this tag. But yeah, here's my stethoscope. It's just black with um, black tubing, the black earpieces, and then the bell, I believe is what it's called, is in the shade Pearl. I just think that this is really beautiful and classic and will go with any color scrubs that I'm wearing. So I got this and I have the tag. And again, I got both the stethoscope and the blood pressure cuff from allheart.com. I think both of them together was like 115, somewhere around there. So not too terribly priced. Um, and yeah, next I got a few books. So nursing school thrive guide if you have heard of straight a nursing or nurse mo i i think that she is just wonderful she is a nurse and she has so many awesome resources she does crucial concepts boot camp which is an online self-paced boot camp that you can do before nursing school starts or right as you're starting it has so much helpful information i'm not even all the way through with her nursing school boot camp yet or the crucial concepts boot camp but i'm working through it and i can already tell it is it has seriously been a major help. So I have her book as well, and um, it's it's not that big of a book. It's a really easy read, but it just has so much helpful information to kind of get you prepared, let you know like what to expect, what nursing school is going to be like, really helpful guides on how to stay organized, and just all kinds of awesome information. I think she is just an invaluable resource, and um, I've invested. <laughs> And a lot of the things that she has recommended and just love them all so far. So nursing school thrive guide. Like I said, I did already get her um, crucial concepts boot camp. It's amazing. I'm already working through it right now. And so far I love it. And I also, let me grab it. Purchased her. Da -da -da -da. 
nursing school um, planner. Now this planner she designed specifically for nursing students. First and foremost, look at this cover. Are you kidding me? I am going to do like an in-depth review of this planner. You purchase the, um, the, the planner is a printable. You purchase the printable on Etsy and she has really easy instructions to either, you know, print it and bind it yourself somewhere, or you can use another company called Nine Cent Color Copies, and they will bind and put the tabs on for you. So it's kind of like a two-step process to get it looking like this but all in all the whole thing the planner and then the binding and everything was i want to say between 35 and 40 dollars total which is fine because looking at an Erin Condren or something similar like that, those planners are more expensive than that. But this one is specifically geared towards nursing students. I mean, look at the cover. I can't even get over it. And then every single page or every single weekly layout, she has like nursing facts. I just know I'm going to love it. I'm already obsessed. And anything Nurse Mo comes out with or recommends has just been awesome. And that's the plain simple truth. So that's where I'm at on that. Another book that I purchased is the Saunders Q&A and Clex RN Examination. Now, a couple things to note. This is edition six, and I know I'm not going to take the NCLEX for a long time, but I went to Half Price Books and got this uh, got this book for $10. So I didn't pay full price for it or anything like that. Of course, I don't get the accompanying like. Elsevier online thing that usually comes with books like this, but that's okay. I just want to get myself familiar with the types of questions that are going to be on the NCLEX. I have heard that the NCLEX format is going to be changing in the next couple of years. I think around 2023, the NCLEX is changing. So that's going to be right around the time that I'm graduating. So my NCLEX will probably look different than what this book has set up. But that's okay because I think generally speaking, I would rather be familiar with the types of questions that might be on there and maybe how they word it. I have it as a resource to utilize um, every now and then to just kind of look over some questions and things like that. Okay, let's get into the stuff from Amazon. If you can see, you can't see it very well, but right here I have a wall calendar and it is a marble wall calendar and I absolutely love it, but unfortunately it is almost complete because I got it last summer and it's almost summer here. So I got a brand new one, oh, it looks so good. Okay, and it starts in July of 21 and then it goes to, I'm sure July of 22. Um, yeah, I, I loved using that. It's really helpful because this is where my desk sits. Usually I have this desk propped up against this wall and I'm sitting on the other side. So I'm looking at this stuff when I am studying and stuff. Anyway, um, but it's helpful to have my planner that I can like open and sit and write stuff in. And it's also helpful to have important due dates and stuff right there. So that as I'm just sitting at my desk in the morning, drinking coffee or whatever, if I just glance over here, I can also get an idea of what's going on. These next few things are not Amazon items. Let me get the box out of the way. But this setup is going to be for my actual papers that I print out, my syllabi, schedules, master schedule, things like that. So it starts with these two inch binders. These are the Better Binders from Staples. It's upside down. But these are both two inch binders and they come in an adorable like baby pink color and then a really cute lilac color. So one of these binders will be a daily binder. The other binder will be for clinical. And then fortunately, my mom already had a four or five inch binder that's um, called the Mega Binder. And basically what happens is whatever you are working on for that particular class for an upcoming exam, you'll keep all that information in your daily 
binder. And then once you take that exam, you take your papers out, you put it in the mega binder. Then by the time you get to finals, all of your paperwork from all of your previous exams are in one place and you can use the mega binder to study for finals. So I'm gonna do a more in-depth video about what all the binders entail, but until then, this is just a little sneak peek, I have some materials for what will be going in them. I have some tab dividers that will be going in there. I got these from Target. And just like with the theme of the binders, these are like kind of light pastel -y colors. And these will divide between my different classes that I take. And then I also have a pack of multicolored upside down paper. And these are also pastel colors. I'm going to print my syllabi on these and my class schedule. So basically the point is that everything is going to coordinate. The class syllabus is going to coordinate with a tabbed divider and that's going to go in one of these two binders. That's my plan for staying organized and I'll do a more in-depth video about how exactly to organize that as I get closer to starting my classes. Next is a pack of compression socks. I just got these on Amazon. Nothing really exciting about that. Okay, these are super, super, super exciting. I actually ordered a bunch of badge reels from a shop on Etsy. I'll have it linked below so that you can check it out. Um, but oh my goodness, these are so cute. I cannot even get over it. Okay. So this shop is called JDL Custom Creations. I bought three badge reels from her. This is the first one. Stop. It is a pink glittery band-aid with a bow on it. I honestly, I, I, can't, I just can't, I can't even. This next one, also adorable. It's a hand sanitizer that says wash your hands and it's glittery, so cute. And my favorite one is a leopard print scrub top and it has my name down here. So cute, so cute. I'm gonna link her shop, like I said, down in the description, but three badge reels. Now I'll have to double check because some people told me that some of the hospitals we do clinicals at will not allow you to have cutesy badge reels, but for the ones that do, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be using those badge reels anytime I can. I also got a stethoscope case. It looks like this and it's from this Bove Key brand. Amazon brands sometimes have like the most difficult to pronounce names. I don't know why that's a thing, but anyway, this is like the stethoscope case that I see everyone talking about. And what's cool is that this design right here is actually like glittery. I thought it was just like silver, but, or white or something, but it's not, it's like a glittery silver, so cute. And it's in like this lilac purple color. There goes the silica packet but it has a little pocket right here for like pin lights or something like that and then the stethoscope goes in here and it's a really soft um lining on the inside such a pretty color and i'll be honest with you guys for a little bit i was not sure if i wanted to just make everything black and white like you know a black stethoscope case and um, you know, whatever else, just have everything black and white. But ultimately I decided I didn't want to do that. I'm a very colorful person. If you can't tell, I like a lot of color. So, um, I just decided to get basically colorful everything because that is more true to my personality. So there's that. I also got a, a set of watches that have a second hand on them. It came with this bubblegum pink color, this purple color, and then this light baby blue color. They have a pin on the back, I'm sure, to maybe like attach to your badge or something like that. I don't have batteries in them or anything, so they don't work right now, but they do count seconds and that was important. Next, I got this clipboard. Now, this is not a folding clipboard. This is one of those clipboards that has like storage underneath. 
everyone got the folding clipboard like all the people in my cohort and people that I see on other nursing supply haul videos get the folding ones but the thought of my paper being bent in half I don't like but I didn't consider the fact that if it doesn't fold I won't be able to put it in my scrub pocket so I'll probably end up getting a folding clipboard but um you know we'll see I know that some people also just use like a notebook a notebook that fits in their scrub pocket to like write down any important information or something so I'm not totally sure I'll kind of see what my school recommends and then kind of go from there the next thing that I got is a pack of pin lights I have a pink one and a purple one someone had said um, I don't know on a video that I watched somewhere not to get LED pin lights because you could like blind your patient or it would be like way too bright so this one has a warm and a white light. I don't know, we'll, we'll see about that. And then the very last thing is a pair of shoes. Um, my school requires either white or black leather shoes. So I went with the New Balance white shoes. This is what they look like. They were actually pretty decently priced. They were like 65, I wanna say. And I mean, they're not the cutest things that I've ever seen in the world, but what I care about is if they're comfortable and so far they seem pretty comfortable. So we'll see, but these are the New Balance shoes. But that is what I have so far. I still need a few things like supplies, you know, like notebooks and pens and things like that, but nursing school is expensive okay like not only is just the school expensive but just getting all the stuff and getting like CPR certifications and things like that like it just it's a lot but you know slowly but surely I'm kind of collecting things and as I get closer um to school actually starting I'm sure I will probably need to get some more things and then I might do an updated haul with some more stuff at that point but I hope you enjoyed this haul thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye